favorite teacher out of any teacher I've ever had. That's the ball of Jackson with like a table of mouth there. Oh, okay. Today's a day of finance. So, uh, they're like, it just so happens with the protest and the day of finance. So, all people's tables in the house are pretty safe. Yeah, That's a coincidence then for the day? Oh yeah, completely okay. coincidence. Uh, what are some of those signs? I mean, we can see through the cameras, but tell us anyway, what do some of the signs say? Uh, bring Miller back, save Mr. Miller. Um, Natalie, what does your shirt say? What? What does your shirt say? Oversensitivity, oversensitivity kills education. Um, have you guys gotten any clear answers from the district, from the school, from anybody about what exactly is going on? Not really. I, I've asked Miss um, Chapman about it, and she's like, I can't really like tell you any of this information. So, I don't know. Okay. Anything else, Paul? Anybody else? All we know is that we want him back, that's, and that's all we want. That's why we're here. We just want him back because having like we love our substitute. He's great. But uh, something is going to be there for long, and I know that I'm not going to be as excited about history unless it's another thing. There's no one that can compare to Mr. Miller. Absolutely no one. Like, I had a 7 in class for one day, and it was actually the most depressing experience of my entire life. <laughs> really? Because Mr. Miller brings so much energy to the classroom that anybody else being in his classroom and teaching a subject just seems wrong. Did you feel the article in the Oregonian was slanted in any way? Yeah. Definitely. Absolutely. Um, Sorry, go ahead. No, you don't. <laughs> okay, anyways, um, they had only, at that point, they had only heard the teacher's and the parent's opinion. They had not heard the student's opinion, and that's why we're here. We want them to hear our opinion. We're the ones that see him every day. We're the ones who talk with him every day. When we've got a problem on our test, we talk to him. So, if, if anything, we're just here to get the story straight, because we're tired of parents and teachers being like, Oh, this teacher isn't teaching well! No, he is. He's such a good teacher, and it's, we just want them to know what we think. Have you processed something like this before, ever at your school? Uh, Do you know not this school. No, it's cool. But I protested before. Are you guys in company close, or are you going to stay right there? Um, we're just going to, yeah, we're probably going to stay in that area, but we're hoping, we already have a couple classrooms that should be on their way. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you very much. For you. One, One more. Oh, yeah. Uh, all right, thank you. Okay. Okay. Explain the video to us. You're saying it was taken out of context. What is happening? What is it? Explain that to us. <laughs> okay, honestly, I saw that video and I dropped on the floor. She's actually one that was in that period. I'm in the period before her. Can we uh, can we ask you about it then if you were in there? Yeah, talk to Sarah. She knows exactly okay. what happened. Tell us what happened. Um, I don't know. So, it was right after we had taken a test. Um, we finished it and never an alternative. Um, and Mr. Miller came in and he like turned on the music really loud. <laughs> um, and like told everyone to get up and like we basically just I don't know we stood in the front of the classroom and like basically had a party and, you know. was anybody weirded out was anybody thinking I mean, any was, of that was inappropriate it was, it was weird because like um, he could get on our the students level and like students aren't like I don't know they're not used to that they're used to like being a big difference between student and teacher with him it's like he can get on our level um, so, it, it was weird in that way. But that's the only way. That's the only way. Um, the, the thing that's funny about that is that usually he's a super strict teacher, and the people that aren't here right now are the people that don't like him to be strict. So, that's why it's so ridiculous, because this is what the one day that he was like, oh, I'm going to be silly, and that's why they videotaped it, because it was so rare. And so then all of a sudden everyone's like, oh, he's like that all the time. And it's, no, he yells at us every day telling us to get our grades straight, and we're happy that he does. So. The Oregonian article said the video was taken secretly, but he addressed the person taking the video, so he knew it was being taken? He knew, he knew it was being taken, yeah. but he, um, yeah, the, the kid that actually took the video was here in this protest. He didn't mean to do anything like wow. to get him fired or even put on leave. Okay. Thank you, guys. Thanks. Thanks.